and just like that, there's a new RV behind me. All right, again, we have these awesome zero gravity Moride steps. Anybody can lower these things down. How handy is this? All right, boom, and we're ready. One thing I like about this, I'm the early riser in our family, so I'm always the one sneaking out for coffee or whatever. With the free hanging steps, even with your jacks down, going in and out of the coach, you're gonna get a little bit of movement. With these, solid contact point to the ground, it's not moving the coach at all. And if you're on uneven ground, these feet adjust up and down. So you always have a good contact point, okay? Holy mackerel, check this storage out. <laughs> Motion sensor lights. Again, my arms are full. I've got lawn chairs. I've got kids' toys. I don't want to mess around with the light. It popped, out, popped on for me. All this cavernous space down here. And as I found out on a recent trip, there's room for a little air mattress where I can sleep down here when I get in trouble, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Hey folks, and remember, you get a tire gauge with this unit. By this unit, you get a complimentary tire gauge. That's a joke, but it really is super important to make sure you uh, keep an eye on tire pressure for safety, all right? All kinds of storage under here. And as they say, but wait, there's more. We have a little sink here. Turn some lights on and a pull-out tray. Now, on this particular unit, you've got a split outdoor kitchen. So we've got some kitchen items over there, and then check this out. Nice pull-out cooktop and a drink refrigerator again with TV mounting bracket, nice lighting, uh, hookups in here for, again, your blender, margarator, coffee maker, whatever have you. One thing I failed to do is to tell you what it exactly is we're talking about. This is a 357 MDOK. This is another bunkhouse model, but it's a bigger bunkhouse model, and this is interesting in that it has a separate office slash bunk room in the center that we'll get to in just a minute. This is a bigger coach. Again, easy to come up here and see that we weigh a little more. We're at 13.3 dry weight on this, and we're bumping up around 42 feet long. So you're gonna need a little bit bigger truck, but it's worth it. Coming back around to the other side here quickly before we go on the inside. Again, vacuum bonded sidewalls, which is always a great quality feature that I always talk about with Jayco. But check this out. We have a residential refrigerator. Jayco makes it easy to access the back of the residential refrigerator in case you ever need to access this for uh, maintenance issues, winterizing, and those kinds of things. Instead of having to pull it out on the inside of the coach, you can access it right here, okay? Of course, we have a DSI water heater here, and this is the other side of our pass-through storage. just like the other one. Utility bay here that's easily accessible, nicely marked, so there's no guesswork on what you're doing. You can pass your hoses and cords right up through here so this door closes and keep the critters and the temperature out here while you're hooking up all your items on the inside. Again, you've got your auto level controls here, and just like the other coach, we can do the same thing from the inside, all right? Love this. Let's go inside and check out some of the goodies on the inside. This unit's prepped for Solera slide toppers. You see the little brackets up here. If you wanted to add slide toppers to this, we make it easy for you to do that, okay? A lot of folks will look at a unit like this, whether they have kids or not, because they want a separate room to do Zoom calls. Maybe they work from home and they want to have the capability of going in there, having some privacy, doing a conference call or a Zoom call. And with this floor plan, you can do that. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. So. Since I'm talking about that, let's start with that feature. Right in the middle of the coach, we have a separate room, okay? This is an office, or it can be a bunk room. We have bunks here, a small bunk up here. This bottom trifolds out for another sleeping position, or you can just get rid of this top bunk altogether and make this a little workspace. Put a chair here, 
drawers, you have your laptop up here, or a television can mount there. Again, Jayco quality on the cabinetry build. Very, very nice. I would venture that we sell as many of these to working couples on the road as we do families because of this functionality. Again, maybe you have some guests with you and they want a little bit of extra privacy. This is it. More storage here. Nice separate little room. So moving into the kitchen area, we move up to a two-door residential refrigerator. This is a Whirlpool brand. Check this out. 21 cubic feet of well-lit, nice storage for a refrigerator. This is the same refrigerator I have in my house in Arlington. Easily accessible, tons of storage. When my wife and I were RV shopping, we found the RV with the uh, residential refrigerator, which was a deal maker for her. She came in and hugged the refrigerator. I was a little bit jealous, but it was a deal maker for her. But check out this kitchen. Nice three burner cooktop, again, similar to the other unit. Microwave up on top. Nice solid surface cabinetry. And again, I brag about it because it's worth bragging about. Full extension drawer glides. Check that out, soft close. Very handy. There's storage underneath the island here. So now we have a nice island floor plan. This little guy right here is plumbed to a five gallon water bottle that lives under here. So you're cooking and drinking pure water that you bring with you. You can bring an extra five gallon bottle if you want to. Sometimes water at RV parks is eh, not so good. This way you know you're cooking and drinking really good pure water. This has a whole house water filter under the coach, so you're filtering all the water uh, that you're using inside here, but you know you're cooking with good water there. Love that feature. Nice handy pantry that's lights when you open up the door over here. These are adjustable and look, like magic, these things pop up out of the way and this can become a coat closet. Similar to the other unit, uh, we have an observation system here, just like the other one, five inch monitor that lives up in the dash of your vehicle. Charging port, boom. Again, you have a household current here, you have USB charging ports down here for your gadgets. When it's time to travel, release it and it goes away. Love the theater seats here. Now, this is what I call camping. Okay, all right, so boom, perfect. I've got a perfect view of the television and the fireplace in front of me. These are comfortable theater seats. <clears throat> if you do have more guests, this is a trifold sofa that comes out into a queen size bed. So you've got option for even additional guests. So this guy will sleep eight to 10 folks comfortably. Again, nice, beautiful, insignia, flat panel television right here. JBL Electronics, this is a giant leap forward, guys. JBL's a quality, recognized name brand for audio. And uh, hey, I'm a music lover. I appreciate, my, uh, I appreciate a good bass and uh, good sound quality, and JBL will give it to you. Again, beautiful fireplace under here thermostat you can set the thermostat to the temperature of your choosing looks neat and it's practical too nice light fixtures up here and we've got secret storage under the chairs like here we've got two matching chairs that are folding chairs that live in under the bed up front so you can add two more chairs under here and wait, there's more storage under here too. So games, books, pens, pencils, that kind of thing. This does pull out and extend uh, for more tabletop area. If you have guests over, two more chairs, plenty of room to play cards or entertain a couple more folks right here. More storage up top, okay? Now. This is a little bit different looking panel right here. Wake it up just by touching it. I'm gonna go to home. Again, everything that we can do from this panel, we can do from our cell phone. Climate control, lighting, the motors, so your slide motors, your levelers, tank levels, everything. 
this is cool. You go on a road trip, go on a day hike, and you forgot to turn the lights on or off, pull it up on your phone. You can do that. Very handy. Love this feature. You have light presets down here as well. Love that. Now, in this unit, we also have a loft up on top of the bunk room. Use it for storage, use it for little kids, whatever. There's plenty of room for two people to sleep up here. If you're not using it for that, you can put clear plastic tubs and use it for storage. A lot of room up there. And a little ladder tucked right into the side here so you always have a ladder easily accessible. And moving into the bathroom area, I love this. Plenty of room, again, and a seat in the corner. Love that feature. Another thing that was on my wife's checklist, I want to have a place to put a leg up so I can shave my legs. Here we go. All right. Sit down here. Nice, nice, classy uh, shower area. And again, I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room to maneuver in here. Nice, lighted uh, medicine cabinet. And again, one-piece molded vanity top. Classy backsplash back here. And like the other unit, we have a nice porcelain commode foot flush. Plenty of room to move around in here. Moving into the bedroom area, I see a king bed. All right, nice, plenty of room to get around on either side. And that's usually the kicker with a king bed floor plan. There's not much room. I got plenty of room to get on either side here, make the bed. Uh, again, you'll see these little remote control uh, looking things here. That makes it one Easy reach over for lighting controls, ceiling lights, and so on. You can do all that from your phone. You can reach over and do it from here. You can do it from the touch panel in the hallway. Always just an easy reach away for all those light controls. And we have lots of storage in here. Hanging closet space across the entire back. Plenty of room for shoes and that kind of thing. Shelves over here on this side. Now, in this particular unit, if we open up this door on this side, I see that we're prepped for washer and dryer. So if you want to have washer and dryer um, added on to this unit, we can do that for you. You might rather have the storage, and that's fine. If you'd like a washer and dryer, we're ready to go and have it installed right there. Again, we have an Insignia TV up here and lots of storage probably using the word storage more than any other word in this whole walkthrough. There's a good reason. Jayco maximizes storage any chance they can get so that you have plenty of room for clothes and that kind of thing. Again, full extension drawer glides, just like the other unit. I'm going to do this with one hand, lift this thing up. Here's the two chairs that I referred to. They're upholstered just like the ones up front. So you've got two more chairs, storage under here for linens and uh, things like that. Again, plywood, guys, this is plywood. It's not OSB or particle board. That's uh, indicative of Jayco quality. All right. Pop this back down. You have uh, power on either side, so if you do have a CPAP machine, need to charge your cell phone, yeah, it's easily accessible on either side with power outlets. A lot of livability in this. This checks a lot of boxes because you, again, have the separate bunk room in the middle. You can have guests if you have kids and they want to have their own space private in there. You can do that too. So I'll slip by you here and come back out. Love the flooring, and just like the other unit, notice no carpet, all right? There's no carpet under here, which was the area that would get worn first. Really clean lines, plenty of room in here. And from a practical standpoint, when, when we're out, a lot of times we like to have guests over for dinner. Heck, you can have six folks in here playing cards, eating, plenty of prep area over here, and you're not on top of each other. There's plenty of room, you're comfortable. Um, it's like a condominium, all right? Great, and a great price point, too. So, again, my name's Mike here at Vaud RV. I host a series that we call RV Quick Tips with Mike, so if you have questions about tech things, make sure you tune into that. Let's go back out here. Again, 
Love these steps. There's a little courtesy light under here. So at night, pop that thing on. Easy, easy marker so you're coming up on the coach if you don't want all the rest of the lights on. Real classy blue light. Again, easy to put these in and out. Lightweight, anybody can do it. That's the travel position just like that. Pop the door closed. Of course, I'd be pulling the slides in too and we're ready to go. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Make sure to give me a call again. My name's Mike at Vod RV. We're gonna be live on Facebook. Message us, send us a note. Happy to give you more details about this. Look up your truck specs. Make sure you can tow it safely. Any other questions you have, just give us a shout. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.